Hi everyone, so today we're going to be looking at probabilities but as a decimal, so writing them as a decimal. Now last week we looked at writing them as a fraction but this week we're going to look at them as decimals. So the thing that you need to know is that probabilities always, the highest they can go is one and we know that because that's the certain chance of something happening. So that's if everything happens in the probabilities, they will all add together to make one. So it says if there are counters labelled A, B, C and D and they're all in a bag, all of, that prob all of those together would make the probability of one. Okay, so what we need to do is um, it tells us the probability of picking an A, picking a B, picking a C and picking an E. We have to work out the missing probability. Now, this is much easier than you think it is. OK, so all we're going to do and you can use calculator to help you with this. I've got mine here. We're just going to add up the probabilities that we already know. So we're going to do 0 0.07 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.26 plus 0.18 and we add all those together so 0 0.07 0 0.15 0 0.26 0 0.18 and it gives us a total of 0 0.66 okay and because we know that the probabilities are going to add up to one we just take that number away from one so one take away 0 0.66 leaves us with 0 0.34 as the missing probability. OK, the next part on this question, and this is something that's going to come, come up on your questions, is calculate the probability of a B or a C. So if I put my hand in the bag, what's the probability of me picking out a B or a C? So it's these two combined together. OK. So I could get either of those. What would be the probability? Well, you would just add the probabilities together and it would that would be the probability of picking one or the other. OK, so this word or always means to add. OK, so 0 0.15 plus 0 0.26 is 0 0.41. So 0 0.41 would be our answer. What I want you to do now is I want you to have a go at the questions.